Welcome to the American Republic, your go-to channel for the latest conservative news updates. Stay informed and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about a new type of car theft that you need to know about. Thieves have figured out how to hack into modern car systems through the headlight module, and it's time for us to take action, the car headlight module is the latest target for these thieves. By tapping into the wiring that connects the headlights to the main communication network, they can take control of the car. The current configuration of vehicles has a connector from the headlights to the CAN bus system, which is how all the technology in a vehicle communicates. Now, we all know that modern cars are protected against theft by using a smart key that talks to the car and exchanges cryptographic messages so that the key proves to the car that it's genuine. This messaging scheme is generally considered to be secure and can't be broken without huge resources. However, thieves don't attack the hard part. They find a weakness and work around it. One of the more common ways to attack the system is by hacking the key fob used for remote entry and starting. But, now thieves have moved to a new way around the security by bypassing the entire smart key system. They get into the car's internal communication and then inject fake messages as if from the smart key receiver. Essentially, messages saying, key validated, unlock immobilizer. In most cars on the road today, these internal messages aren't protected. The receivers simply trust them, as conservatives, we believe in protecting our private property. This new technique for stealing cars is a violation of our rights as individuals. Thieves are using technology to take something that doesn't belong to them, and it's time we put a stop to it, car makers have learned over the years to act carefully when making changes to vehicle systems. What appears to be quick and simple often turns out to not be, and even a simple fix requires extensive testing to make sure there are no unintended consequences. So, it will take some time to implement a solution, in the meantime, we must take action to protect our cars. One of the best defenses is the time it takes to get into the wiring. Thieves would need a private area to work without interruption. We should also be aware of the potential for car theft through the headlight module and take extra precautions to keep our cars safe, we must remain vigilant in protecting our property. This new technique for stealing cars is a reminder that we must always be aware of the latest methods used by thieves. We must work together as a community to keep our cars and property safe, that's it for today's episode of the American Republic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates.